In this tutorial, I will show you how I processed ARP273, the Rose Galaxy. In the Hubble Legacy Archive, simply search for ARP273, and there will be three data sets. The best data set to use is at the bottom here, labeled HST MOS 101-4131, and so on using 390, 475, and 600. 390 will be your blue, 475 will be green, and 600 will be red. Download the images using the FITS science link and convert them from a FITS file into a TIFF file using the FITS liberator. From there, open Photoshop, then go to File, scripts, load files into stack, and load the files that you wish to process. Once the images have loaded, go ahead and adjust the levels and do whatever other techniques you do before you combine the images. Once you are satisfied with the grayscale image, then go to Image, Mode, and RGB Color. Select Don't Merge, and starting with whatever layer you wish, go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Hue and Saturation, and select Colorize. Once that is completed, select each layer and change the blending mode from normal to lighten. Flatten the image. And now the image is ready for further processing. Before I begin, I will crop it out using the perspective crop tool. My image has come out with more of a yellow tint. I prefer to have a more white colored galaxy than yellow. So using the selective color layer adjustment under layer, new adjustment layer, and selective color, I can actually get rid of a lot of that yellow. Under colors, go to yellow, and where it says yellow, you can remove it either by going to negative 100, maybe negative 50, whatever you think looks good. And by adjusting the other colors, more color can also be brought into this image, enhancing the reds, enhancing the blues, and so on, until I am happy with the color of the galaxy. Once I've completed the selective color and enhanced the colors that I like, I'm going to create a new layer because the image still has a green tint and go to filter using my Hosta La Vista green filter from Deep Sky Colors and get rid of that green tint. Now it looks much more white and I'm much happier with it than the yellow tint that it had before. From here, I would do my usual processing techniques of using the camera raw filter, changing the brightness, enhancing the contrast, and so on until I'm happy with my final image. This is one of my absolute favorite galaxies, and I cannot wait to see the results that you guys get from this stunning image.